So last week's homework was um, how did you guys celebrate the moon or mid-autumn festival this week? So um, Sophia, do you think you could tell us how you celebrated the moon festival last week? Well, some of my cousins um, arrived at our house and we had a big dinner with Miss Ben. Oh, that sounds fun. Um, what family members came over? Just your cousins? Yeah, three of my cousins. Hmm, that sounds fun. Um, Vetland, what did you do for the Moon Festival? Um, well, um, my family get together um, in my grandma's house and we have a big dinner. Also, our class gave us everyone a uh, um a mooncake yes right and we have uh we made uh we made a dinner and uh, um, we take it to our class and uh, uh, share it together yes right oh that sounds really fun um andy what did you do over the weekend uh okay uh, we we get together and to eat a dinner, but we the way we celebrate the moon festival is very simple. So mm. that still sounds fun. Just to be with your family sounds nice. Um, Alice, what did you do? I will eat mooncake. Um, I like mooncakes. They taste good. I I think we can move on to the next slide. Um, Natalie, I think you're muted. Okay. So for our conversation topic, um, the question is, what was your favorite part about the Moon Festival? So, Joy, what was your favorite part about the Moon Festival? My favorite part about the Moon Festival is the part I can eat mooncake because I like a lot of flavor in that scene. Yeah, I heard that mooncake is very good. Thank you, Joy. Um, Andy, what about you? Uh, what? Pardon? Um, what was your favorite part about the Moon Festival? Uh, I think we get together and to talk about our life and our thought. It's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's always very nice. I like talking with my family and friends. Thank you, Andy. Um, Tiger, what about you? What was your favorite part? Uh, during the during the moon mid autumn festival, I'm in a lockdown, so I didn't have much time to get uh, to reunion with my family. So I uh, so I just stayed at home and uh, make mooncakes by myself. I think oh. make moon make mooncakes is yeah, I that's like very that. nice. That's nice. What flavor mooncake did you make? Uh, strawberry flavor, uh, and yeah, other, many other kind of mooncakes. That sounds yummy. It didn't taste very good. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, we can move on. Yeah. Probably. Okay, so if you guys remember about a month ago, we were reading the book Wonder. So we are going to pick up where we left off with that book. Um, just like a little recap, so August or Augie is our main character. He's a 10 year old boy with um, his mom, dad, and his 15 year old sister, Via. Um, he's quiet, shy, and happy most of the time. Um, we meet, we met a new character last chapter. Um, his name was Jack Will. He smiled at August, so maybe he will be his new friend. We also met Charlotte, who had blonde hair and she wore bright green Crocs. 
um, we met Julian, who was the third kid who was giving August a tour of the new middle school he will be going to. So for a recap of what you guys read in the last lesson when we read Wonder, is that August, Augie, had agreed to go with his mother to meet the principal of the new middle school that he will be attending. So August and his mother then meet Mrs. Garcia, who is the principal's assistant, and Mr. Tushman, who is the principal. At the end of the chapters, August meets three students. Their names are Jack, Julian, and Charlotte, and they're students at the new middle school that August is going to be attending. And then August is also about to get a tour of the school from Jack, Julian, and Charlotte without the mother near him, and that's where we left off. Okay, so, um... Gabriel, do you think you could read the first um, two paragraphs for us? Jack Val, Julian, Carlos, and I went down a big hallway to some wide stairs. No one said a word as we walked up to the third floor. When we got to the top of the stairs. We went down a little hallway full of lots of doors. Julian opened the door marked 301. Um, thank you, Gabriel. Um, Tiger, do you think you could finish this up? This is our homeroom, he said, standing in front of the hall half open door. We have Mrs. Petosa. They, uh, they say she's okay, and at least for homeroom. I heard she's really strict if you get her for math, though. Thank you, Tiger. So, um, Joy, why do you think that none of the kids said anything to August when they were walking up the stairs? Because they meet at the first two time, they don't know each other very well. Thank you, so Joy. That's a good more. answer. Thank you. I think that's a good answer. If I probably, if I met someone new, I probably wouldn't talk to them either. Okay, so, um, Brady and uh, Ellie. Am I pronouncing that that right, Eli? Um, all right, uh, Brady, could you hear me? If you can, could you please unmute your mic and turn on your camera? Yes, I can. Thank you. So you could read from That's Not True, said Charlotte, up to hallway. So the first two sentences. That's not true, said Carrot. My sister has her last year, and she said she's totally nice. Not what I heard, answered Julian, but whatever, he closed the door and continued walking down the hallway. Oh, okay. Very good, Brady. Thank you. So I guess Charlotte and Julian disagree about that one teacher. Um, Randy, what about you? Could you read the next paragraph? And if you're there, could you unmute your mic and turn on your camera, please? All right, it looks like Randy might not be on right now. So, Sophia, what about you? Do you want to give it a shot? This is the science lab, he said when he got to the next door, and just like he did two seconds ago, he stood in front of the half-open door and started talking. He didn't look at me once while he talked, which was okay because I wasn't looked at him, looking at him either. You won't know who you have for science in, until the first day of school, but you want to get Mr. Toller. He used to be in the lower school. He would play his giant tuba in class. Yeah, very nice, Sophia. Thank you. 
Um, Andy, could you read the last three sentences? Uh, it was a uh, part one form said shut it it was a tuba answered julian closing the door dude let him go inside so he can check it out jack will tell him pushing past julian and open the door thank you andy so uh vetland what would you say about jack will Based on that last sentence and his actions, do you think he's nice, mean, or how would you describe him? Um, well, please wait for me a moment. Mm, well, I think he is a uh, a uh, uh, careless person well because he just uh, told he just told to Julian and uh, pushing past Julian and opening the door I think he is very brave and careless yeah he's definitely courageous for defending August and pushing past Julian thank you Batlan Um, Alice, do you think you could read the first um, two paragraphs, please? Yes. Go inside if you want. Julian said it was the first time he looked at me. I scratched and walked over to the door. Julian moved out of the way quickly. He like he was afraid I might accidentally touch him as I passed by him. Thank you, Alice. Um, Gabriel, do you think you could read um the next two paragraphs? Gabriel? Um, okay. Um, Andy, do you think you could read the next two paragraphs, please? Andy, can you hear me? Yeah, uh, the third paragraph? Um, yes. Nothing much to say, Julian said, walking in after me. He started pointing in a bunch of stuff around the room. That's the incubator. That big black thing is the chatboard. These are the desks. These are chairs. Those are the Bunsen burners. burners. This is a gross science poster. This is check, check, check. This is the eraser. Thank you. Um, Sophia, do you think you could finish the page? Yeah. I'm sure he knows what an eraser is, Charlotte, oops, Charlotte said, sounding a little like Via. How would I know what he knows? Julian answered. Sir Tushman said he'd never been to a school before. You know what an eraser is, right? Charlotte asked me. Thank you, Sophia. So, um, Brady, why do you think Julian moved out of the way really quickly when August was walking over to the door? Brady? Uh, I think... Do you need to think about it, Brady? Yes. Okay, um, I'll get back to you in a moment. Um, Tiger, why do you think Julian moved out of the way quickly when August went over to the door?
Do you I have an think, answer? Uh, Julian. Didn't like a. Uh, didn't like Augie, Augie very much. Um, that's good, Tiger. I also think that Julian doesn't really like August that much. Um, Brady, do you have an answer or would you like us to move on? Um, okay, I guess we'll move on. All right, so Eli, am I pronouncing your name right or how would you pronounce your name? Yes, my name is Eli. All right, uh, could you try to read this first photo right here? <clears throat> I admit I was feeling so nervous that I didn't know what to say or do except look at the floor. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Eli. Um, you can try the next two sentences as well since it's kind of short. So okay. you can start from, hey, can you talk, and end at not directly. Uh, hey, can you talk? Ask Jim Will. Jim Will. Yeah, I know that. I still already hadn't looked at any of them yet. Not directly. You know what an eraser is, right? Asked Jack Will. Of course, I mumbled. Very good, Eli. Thank you. So, I'm guessing there's some things that August is thinking about right now, but we can get back to that in a second. Um, Alice, do you want to read the next two sentences? Um, yes. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Um, the number, what? Two sentences. Oh, right. So you can read, I told you there was nothing to see. I told you there was nothing to see in here. And Julian sh shrugging, I have a question. I said, trying to keep my voice steady. St 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 steady. Uh, yes. Steady. Um, what exactly is homeroom? Is that a... Is that like a su subject? Okay, very well. Thank you, Alice. And Gabriel, do you want to try reading the last pair or last sentence? In a way, it's your main class, even though it's not really a class i mean it's a class but oh i'm sorry yeah that was the last sentence thank you gabriel um could you actually read from no that's just your group and you can read up to the end i guess so the last paragraph no that's just your group Explained Carlo, ignoring Julian's smirk. It's it's like a where you go when you get to school in the morning, and your homeroom teacher takes all the audience and stuff like that. In a way, it's your main class, even though it's not really a class. I mean, it's a class, but... Very well. Thank you, Gabriel. 
that was a very long sentence. So, oh, and just for reference, I think her name is Charlotte. Yeah, so it's a girl. So, let's see. Joy, why do you think August might not have looked at them directly when he was answering their questions? Because he was shy, I think. Yeah, that's definitely why. I think he's pretty shy and maybe nervous as well. Thank you, Joy. And yeah, we can move on. Um, Vetland, do you think you could read um about half of the page? Okay. I think he gets it, Charlotte said Jack Will. Do you get it? Charlotte asked me. Yeah, I nodded at her. Okay, let's go out of here, said Jack Will, walking away. Well, Jack, we were supposed to be answering questions, said Charlotte. Thank you, Vetland. Um, Sophia, do you think you could finish? Jack Will rolled his eyes a little as he turned around. Do you have any more questions? he asked. Um, no, I answered. Oh, well, actually, yes. Is your name Jack or Jack Will? Jack is my first name. Will is my last name. Thank you, Sophia. Um, okay, so, Eli, why do you think Jack rolled his eyes when Charlotte said that they were supposed to be answering questions? Uh, uh, I was... I am thinking, but I knew I didn't think my answer is right. Um, that's okay. What's your answer? Uh, can you wait a moment? Let me yeah. think about it. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll come back to you. Um, Tiger, why do you think um Jack rolled his eyes when Charlotte said they were supposed to be answering questions? Uh, because he he's impatient and uh, if he uh, impatient and uh, and uh, he thinks he thinks Augie That's all right. Um, you can take your time. Um, Eli, have you thought through your answer? Uh, I think maybe. Uh, because he said we are supposed to be answering questions, and he rolled his eyes a little as he turned around. So I think maybe uh, he um okay, thank you. Um, Natalie, do you think you could do this slide? Yep. Um, Andy, do you want to try reading the first picture up to August? Uh, oh, because Mr. Tushman introduced you as Jack Will, so I thought, ha, ah, you saw this, you saw his name was Jack Will, loved Julian. Yeah, some people call me by the first and the last name, Jack, said Shopping. I don't know why. Anyway, can we go? Can we go now? Let's go to the performance space next," said Charlotte, leading the way out of the science room. It's very cool. You will like it, August. Thank you, Andy. Yeah, I initially thought that his name was Jack Will as well. Um. Tiger, do you want to try reading the? Do you want to try reading the whole section? 
Yeah, yeah. The performance space. The performance space. Charlotte uh, basically didn't stop talking as he headed down to the second floor. She was describing the play they had put on last year, which was Oliver. She played Oliver even though she's a girl. As she said this, she pushed open the double doors to a huge auditorium. At the, uh, at the other end of the room was a stage. Charlotte started skipping toward the stage. Julian ran after her and then turned around halfway down the aisle. Oh, okay, interesting. Thank you, Tiger. That was very good. Um, let's see for creativity questions. Uh, Vetland, do you want to try to take a guess on what Julian might be doing as he turns around halfway down the aisle? Just take a guess on what he might say or do. Uh, well, um, uh, I think maybe Julian will uh, go on the stage and uh, run everywhere. Uh, because I think maybe Julian is very like this stage. Yeah, okay. So maybe he's having a lot of fun and he's going to run around. Um, Alice, are you there? Yeah, I'm always there. Okay, do you want to take a guess on what Julian might be doing next? Maybe they will go to the moon. Oh, okay. So like a moon on the stage? Yeah. Okay, that's a good guess. Um, and Brady, are you there? Yes. Okay, what do you think? What do you think Julian might be doing after he turns around? Maybe he will walk down the highway. Okay, yeah, well the highway is more like the road for cars, but let's see what he actually does. Um, Joy, do you think you could read um, maybe half of the page? Joy, can you hear me? Yes, I can, teacher. Come on, he said loudly, waving for me to follow him, which I did. There were like hundreds of people in the audience that night, said Charlotte, and it took me a second to, re to realize she was still talking over Oliver. I was so, so nervous. I had so many lines, and I had all these songs to sing. It was so, 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 so hard. Although she was talking to me, she really didn't look at me much. On opening tonight, on opening night, my parents were all the way in back of the auditorium, like where Jack is right now. But where? But when the lights are off, can you really see that far back? So I was like, "Where are my? Where are my year? Where are my parents?" We are my parents, and then Mr. Rithnick, our theater arts teacher last year, he said, Charlotte, stop being such a diva. And I was like, okay. And then I spotted my parents, and I was totally fine. I didn't forget a single line. Thank you, Joy. That was really good. Um, Gabriel, do you think you could read the last paragraph? Well, she was talking. 
I noticed Julian start starting at me out of the corner of his eye. This is something I see people do a lot with me. The thing I don't know they are starting, but I can tell for from the way their ha hands are titled. I turned around to see while Jack had gone to. She, he did stay in the back of the auditorium, like he was bored. Thank you, Gabriel. That was good. Um, Tiger, do you think that Charlotte enjoyed being in the play? Yeah, he was talking. Uh. Talking, uh, he, uh, talk, uh, talks a lot, and, uh, and uh, he was imagine, he was, uh, imagine he was the uh, Oliver that night. Thank you, Tiger. I agree. I think that Charlotte really enjoyed being in the play. Uh, okay. Um, Natalie, you're muted again. Right, my bad. Uh, Eli, could you read the first two sentences, please? Um, we put on a play every year, said Charlotte. I don't think he's going to want to be in the school play, Charlotte, said Julian. Um, Sarcastic, what? Oh my God. Um, I don't know this word. Um, Sarcastically. Could you me? Sarcastically. Um, you can be in the play without actually being in the play. Charlotte answered, looking at me. You can do the light. You can paint the backdrops. Yeah, very good, Batland. Thank you. So let's just review what sarcastically means, just as an example. Sarcasm is kind of like saying something in an ironic way. So let's say I was really bored when I was at a play and someone asked me, that play, how was that play? And I say, oh, that was so good. But I say it in a bad tone. So what I really mean is that it was boring. So I can say, oh, that was so fun, but not really mean it that way. So that's kind of what sarcasm is. Um, all right. Brady, could you read the next two sentences, please? Oh, yeah, oop, said Julian, twirling his finger in the air. But you don't have to take the theater art. electives if you don't want to do. Charles said, scratching their stance or chores or bend their leadership. Only dark takes leadership. Julian interrupted. Thank you, Brady. That was very good. And Another vocabulary word is shrugging. So shrugging is just doing this. If someone asks you, what are you doing today? And you don't know, you can just shrug and say, I don't know. Um, all right, let's see. Gabriel, what do you think Julian's actions show about him when Julian interrupts Charlotte and then says, only dorks take leadership? How would you describe Julian in this scenario? Do you think he meant it in a nice way and saying only dorks take leadership or is he trying to say something mean to Charlotte? 
or is he trying to be funny? What do you think? Gabriel, are you there? I think he's trying to be mean. Okay. Why do you think he's trying to be mean? Because it says Because I think when he was saying that, the word doesn't sound so great. Oh, yeah. So the connotation of that word is pretty bad. Okay. Thank you, Gabriel. Um, Sophia, do you think you could read this, um, like the first three sentences? Yeah. Julian, you are being so obnoxious, said Charlotte, which made Julian laugh. I'm taking the science out, dear, I said. Cool, said Charlotte. Thank you, Sophia. Um, Andy, do you think you could finish the page? Julian looked directly at me. This science is elective, elective is supposed, supposedly the hardest elective of all. He said, no offenses, but if you've never ever been in a school before, why do you think you are suddenly going to be smart enough to take this science elective? In in chat, uh, in lecture. I mean, have you ever even studied science before, like real science, you not know, like the kind you do in kids? Yeah, I know that. Thank you, Andy. So, Alice, why do you think Julian is being mean to August about taking the science elective? Alice, can you hear me? Um, yes. So why I do you think... Okay, <laughs> sorry. I think, um, she, she's thinking about Julian is cool. Um, maybe, maybe... Um, maybe she like to do the science too. Um, that's a good answer, Alice. I think. Um, yeah, I agree. I think that Julian thinks he's being cool by being mean to August. So now we're gonna move on to the questions about this chapter. So let's see, Joy. Do you think August will get along with Jack, Julian, and Charlotte, and why? And you don't have to refer to them as a group. You can say, I think he'll get along with this person, but not this person. It's up to you. Mm, I think August will get along with Jack, but not. I think uh, both of them will get along with August because they're in the um, they're in the same building they're in the same school and maybe in the same class too and maybe they can be friends for a long time after all yeah that's very true so maybe they'll grow on each other and since they're spending so much time with each other they might become friends thank you joy So, um, Vetland, what do you think it says about Julian's character when he assumes that August is not smart enough to take the science elective, which is pretty hard? 
Uh, well, um, uh, I think maybe um, Augie will um, against he against her, and I think maybe Augie will uh, study it very well um, um, in the future. Thank you, Vetlin. That's a good answer. Um, what do you think, Tiger? I think August is jealous uh, to the bravery that uh, that August is going to attend a hard class. <clears throat> I agree with that. Thank you. Um, Sophia, if you had to give a tour, how would you do it? It's a very open-ended question, so you can say how you would talk or just what you would do? Well, I think basically if you are taking somebody to a tour, um, you you had to show everything he or she needed to see. And I think uh, I should be like friendly and talking to them in a friendly way and answer their questions. Yeah, that's very true. It's important to make them feel welcome. Thank you, Sophia. And Andy, what about you? How would you give a tour? Um, I have no idea now, sorry. No, you're, yeah, that's totally fine. Um, do you think you would show the students around or would you rather tell the students about what you're about to tour them? Or do you think you would like to show them the places by maybe taking them to the stage like they did for Augie in the auditorium? Or would you just like to show them maybe a picture or just the inside and then talk about it? I'd like to show the pictures and to them. Yeah, that so would I, probably be time efficient. All right, thank you, Andy. Um, Gabriel, so who is your favorite character in the book so far, and why are they your favorite? Gabriel, um, can you hear me? Is Andy? Because he's like, he, he shows the new student the right place. That's a good answer. Thank you, Gabriel. Um, Joy, who's your favorite character so far? In this character? Um, just in the whole book. So who is your favorite person in the book so far? I think it's Jack Will because I just like the name of Jack Will and he smiles a lot. That's good. I like Jack Will too so far. Thank you, Joy. All right, so moving on to our game. We're going to play Word Bomb and Rebecca, you can explain the game. Okay, so in Word Bomb, basically we give you maybe two letters that are together like ED or AO. And you have to give us a word that has those two letters in it. So, for example, um, if I gave Natalie ED, what word would you give Natalie? So, a simple answer would probably be something like bed. But you could also do a harder word, like troubled, since that also ends with ED. 
All right, so we can get started. Um, Andy, what's a word that has a T in it? Uh, I think the astronomer. Um, that's a good answer, Andy. Uh, um, it's a T Saturday. That's good. Thank you, Andy. Um, Vetland. What's a word that you could make with a T? Coat. That's a nice, simple word. Um, let's go to the next one. Um, Ty or Eli, what do you think is a word that has SH in it? Shake. Uh, what was that? Shake. Shake. Yeah, that's very good, Tiger. Thank you. Um, Eli, what about you? It can start with SH, it can have it in the middle, or it could end with SH. Uh, maybe shy. Shy, that's a good word. So that kind of describes Augie as well. Thanks, Eli. So, Tiger. Um, could you think of a word that has H-A in it? Uh, whole, whole way. That's good. Augie definitely went through a lot of hallways on his tour. Thank you. Um, Joy, what do you think? I think it hatched. Oh, like, um, like an egg hatching? Yeah. Thank you. That's a good answer. I like that. Um, Sophia, do you want to think of a word with the letter A in it? Mm, yeah, like astronomy. Astronomy, that's a good word. Thank you, Sophia. Mm. Alice, what about you? Do you think you could think of a word with the letter A in it? Apple alligator. Oh, two Astronaut. words. Three words, nice. Um, Brady, do you think you could think of a word with CH in it? Chess. That's good. Do you like playing chess? Yes. I like playing chess too. Chess is a really fun game. Um, Wetland. Do you think you can think of a word with TH in it? Theater. Theater, that's a good word. That also relates to the book in a way. Um, Joy, what about you? <clears throat> I think it's they. They. Okay, yeah, that's a good pronoun. So, Eli, um, what's a word with M-E in it? Uh, the word with M-E? Uh, me. Um, yes, that's, yeah, that's a good word. Uh, or... Matter. Oh, Me I like that word. Yeah, that's a nice word. Um, Alice, do you think you could think of a word with M-E? Matter. Meat. That's a good answer. M-E-A-T. Um, mm-hmm. I like meat. Do you like eating meat? Yeah. Mm, yes, meat is very good. And um, might. Um, right. um, just checking in. Randy, are you there? If you are there, you can unmute your mic. All right, just double checking. So, Gabriel, can you make a word with the letters LL in it?
Mm, let's see. That is a pretty tough one since it's two L's in a row. But what about school? Where were Jack, Will, and Charlotte walking? In the school hallways. Um, is there another word you could think of, Gabriel? Wall. Wall, that's a pretty good word. Thank you, Gabriel. And let's make it a little more interesting, maybe like a challenge. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Sophia, would you like to make a word with LL in it, but also use it in a sentence? Well, let me think about it. Um, like, when you walk, when you get into our school, you'll you'll see our great hall. Yeah, you'll see great hall. Okay, thank you, Sophia. Um, Tiger, do you think you could think of a word with O L and then use it in a sentence? No, I think. I like the doll my sisters brought me yesterday. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Um, Vetland, what about you? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, Andy, what about you? Can you make a word with OL and then use it in a sentence? Um, Olympics. Um, in the last Olympics, the uh the Gao Tingyu just uh, won the champion of the of, uh skip skip uh, I don't know how to say uh Hua Shi uh Nanzi Hua Bing. Snowboarding. Yeah. Thank you. I actually didn't get the chance to watch the Winter Olympics. Um, Brady, could you try to use the letters R Y and make a sentence with it? Relaxed. Yeah, the word relaxed has the letter R in it. Um, do you think you could think of a word that has R and Y in it? Really? Really? Yeah. Sorry, let me rephrase. That does have the R and the Y, but next to each other. So maybe like, that was very... Oh, very. Did you say very or really? Uh, Brady, did you say really or did you say very? Very. Oh, very. That's very good. So could you try using that in a sentence? I very like eating french fries. Okay, yeah. So you very much like getting French fries. Very good, Brady. Thank you. Uh, um, Joy, do you think you could think of a word with G-E next to each other? Cage? Um, like a dog mm -hmm. cage? Uh, yes. I keep my dog my dog in a dog cage. Oh, that's very good, Joy. Thank you. Um, Tiger, could you think of a word with OM in it? Uh, let's think. Okay. 
You can take your time. Aroma. Oh, room? Aroma. Oh, aroma. That's a very good word, Tiger. Thank you. I like the I like the aroma from the from the sunflower. Oh, that's a very advanced sentence. Thanks, Tiger. Um Alice, what about you? Suddenly, yeah, yeah, I don't think song word is have om. Oh, you just said a word that had om in it. Um, what? Um, no, it's not. Um, I think you just used the word. You said suddenly. I don't think that. What was that you said? That some word has OM in it? Wisdom. Oh, yeah, that's good, Eli. Um, Eli, do you want to try using a word with OM in it in a sentence? Uh, a war with OM. Let me think. Oh, I I think of a word. Well, like mm, in 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 scary stories, bats are usually seen as a bad omen. Oh, yeah, that's very true, Sophia. Thank you. Oh, I teacher, too. I know, I know. Mm. Teacher, I know. Oh, uh, Alice, go ahead. I, I have know. Summer, wrong. summer mood. Summer wrong. mood. Summer mood. Wrong. <laughs> summer mood. I see. Yeah, those are home. two home. very good. Home. home, yes, that's very true. And summer. And calm. Calm, yeah. So you guys home. all just thought of a lot of words. That's very good. And um, has moment. Yeah, that sounds very good. Um, I think that we could go to the homework now because I think we put too many of the letters. Yeah. So um this for the um your homework for the weekend is to think of your favorite subject at school and explain why it's your favorite subject. So other than that, um you guys are free to leave. Thank you. This has been great. You guys Bye. did very well today. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. You. Bye. 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 Bye.